Hello guys and welcome back. A brutal day in the market today. Spy down over 1.77% and overall, you know, we did break off a major, major level of support on the SPY. Now, things got very, very interesting today. We got the Xbox news, um, you know, Microsoft buying out Activision Blizzard, which is huge, huge news for um, Microsoft, which I want to talk about in this video, as well as banks reporting earnings. And most of the banks did, you know, not the best earnings. Plus, you know, Goldman Sachs and a lot of these other banks reporting, you know, high inflation fears. So this is creating in a lot more inflation as expected. And, you know, banks were supposed to have a great year today because of interest rates. You know, banks are the ones, you know, um, getting affected in a good way for interest rates since they are the one selling those loans. So I have to talk, you know, I have a lot to talk, talk about in this video. The next levels for SPY. Personally, me, I didn't even trade today. I just bought uh, IW, IWM shares. So this was on uh, the watch list. But overall, it did not hold that level of support. And we actually broke below it. And overall, you know, you know, IWM had a great level of support. And as you guys can see, you know, we had several, several bounces at these levels of support. But, you know, again, I just had shares, so I only lost like a percent, 1.7%. So let's talk about the SPY first. You know, taking a look at SPY at open, we just pretty much dumped. Now, why did we dump at open? Why did we gap down? You know, most of this was due to tech earnings. I mean, uh, bank earnings. So, you know, basically all of the bank stocks were just, you know, dying today. So, for example, if we actually take a look at Goldman Sachs, you know, this stock was already down around at open. It's down, you know, 6% today. So, it was down 6% uh, off earnings, which dragged the market down. You know, we have Citigroup dro dropping in last week. So, a lot of the banks, you know, just crashed. So, what we actually take a look at is XLF, which is the bank's ETF. You know, we gapped down from the previous earnings. And again, we also, you know, dropped down because of banks' earnings. So as you guys can see, you know, this is the XLF ETF. We're taking a look. We're in this massive, massive channel. So we're looking to kind of test below 38.83 as the level of support for banks. So banks were the one dragging down the market. Now, this is actually very, very important because a lot, of, a lot of this fear was with inflation. And what's very, very interesting to understand is since we have banks or since we have tech earnings next week, you know, will tech, you know, raise prices on their products and stuff? You know, we already have Netflix raising their subscription prices. And we can see, you know, Netflix has been falling, you know, very, very hard. And there's a lot of inflation concerns. So next week, it'll be very, very interesting because, you know, these companies, if they're getting infected, you know, affected by inflation that is you know more bearish news than a higher cpi consumer price index which tracks the inflation numbers because you know after all the stock market is you know there are you know the companies and it's not the economy so you know taking a look at next week a lot of these tech stocks are reporting earnings and you know especially netflix um you know reporting as well as you know apple are we gonna see some raises in prices and are we gonna be seeing any inflation talks any inflation talks is gonna be very very bearish for the market now, taking a look at SPY, we're looking to test that level. QQQ, you know, we're pre pretty much just closed below that level of support. So the market is very, very, very bearish right now. You know, even taking a look at IWM, it had that very, very nice major level of support. But almost, you know, every ETF, you know, most of the stocks closed below the level of support. So the market is very, very bearish right now. And we just need room to just settle down, just, you know, watch and don't play any options. I'm just playing straight up shares. Now, when I'm actually taking a look at is at Apple. Okay, Apple is about to hit a level of support around 168.31. I have a alert set so it'll send out on all the servers, but I'm watching Apple for this play off, you know, the bounce off the level of support. So Apple is setting up very, very nicely for a level of support. Now, I also wanted to talk about the Xbox news. So overall, Microsoft buying off 
Um, you know, this is actually huge for Xbox because if you think about it, you know, PlayStation had the lead. They had way better games. They had way better ex exclusives, you know, on PlayStation 5, like the Spider-Man game. And, you know, overall, there's a lot of other games on PlayStation. There are, you know, Japanese exclusives. But now, you know, Microsoft, Xbox, they have Bethesda. And now they have Blizzard, which is, you know, Call of Duty and Halo. They're like one of the biggest franchises together. So this is definitely very, very, you know, bullish news for Xbox, for Microsoft. And overall, you know, we're taking a look at the market. Qualcomm was the play that I wanted to play. If we take a look at Qualcomm, you know, I was looking to enter in around market open. If we, you know, held that level of support and, you know, held, you know, broke through that resistance. But overall, Qualcomm is sitting at that major level of support. So this is, you know, the top picks that I'm watching, a option play at market open. I'm just going to be watching Qualcomm. If we break below that level of support and we close below this level of support, this play is going to be invalidated and I'll just forget about it. Once this play gets invalidated, I'm not not you know playing it you know taking a look at nvidia it's testing that level of support you know just like qqq you know i've talked about qqq tested this you know level of support on the trend line you know we've talked about this on the weekly watch list and amd is still holding that level of support now coin is also another very very interesting warrant you know interesting one with this falling wedge so definitely still a lot of setups but most of these setups are bullish plays you know i'm not actually able to find some bearish plays because the market is already down so much so tomorrow is just going to be a game of patience just watching and just set alerts at these levels of break so once they do break out it's going to be a very very nice play but ccl was our bearish play on the weekly watch list we did had that rising wedge which we broke out on ccl but overall it looks okay you know taking a look at you know amazon all of these stocks fell hard and it'll be very very interesting on earnings week you know what will happen so right now the only uncertainty right now as of right now are going to be earnings you know what are we going to be expecting for earnings and earnings season is right around the corner we just had banks reporting and tech is going to be reporting next week so be very very careful going into next week Overall, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Very, very simple video. And overall, see you guys tomorrow at Market Open. You know, I'm probably just going to be watching in the market tomorrow, looking out for some shares play. You know, I want to buy in at that dip of the correction. And obviously, Amazon is going to be my favorite, favorite one. So definitely looking out for some dip buys coming in around tomorrow. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and see you guys tomorrow at Market Open.